Hello, and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB. Up your periscope, I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, and the world to New Zealand. Um, hey, when? Uh, so the Brangelina story, uh, this was uh, my reaction when I first heard about it this morning. Here it comes. Yep, I mean, I don't know them. I'm familiar with their work, but I don't know them personally. Yeah, I thought that it was Brad Jolina too. This is, actually, I'll tell you what, this is why I don't think it was ever going to work out between them. I thought it was Brad Jolina, but it isn't Brad Jolina. It's Brangelina. I've researched this thoroughly this morning, and if I can just make a few folds, for those of you watching on the, um, the 360 feed, you'll be able to watch me do these folds. Now I can show you the result of the folds. Oh no, I folded it in the wrong place. That's, that's gone very badly for me. Here, there we go. It's like, it's like advanced origami. Now, here we go, right. So, this is what it is. It's Brangelina, right? And this is why it was never going to work. Because look, she gets the whole name in there. He gets that. It's a one-sided relationship. Um, when I heard about the Real Housewives of Auckland or whatever it's called, I don't even know what it's called, but apparently there's some kind of, somebody said something that was marginally racist on there. This is this is how I reacted to that. Similar kind of reaction. Really reached me emotionally. Um, and more reaction news. Uh, Theresa May, big space, big space, big speech in front of the uh, the UN General Assembly today. Um, this isn't my reaction to the speech this time. This is the reaction of everybody else there. Uh, the little cutaway shot as Theresa May was speaking. There we go. Uh, so, that person's just checking a bit of social media there. Uh, that person's thinking, is this interpreter really saying what she's saying? This person's getting up to go to the loo. This person, are they taking us? They're trying to get a, some good light, good angle for a selfie? What, is that what's happening there? Um, I think... Is she trying to catch a Pokemon, maybe? And she's just come back from getting some takeaways. So yeah, that exciting, obviously an exciting speech for Theresa May. There. Um, in other world news, hey, Fancy Bears, the Russian hackers, they keep releasing stuff about stuff. I really can't take this seriously with that name. I just feel like you should have gone for something a little bit Oh, uh, go grizzly bear. Go, go brown bear, even. Go polar bear. It seems more appropriate in that air, sort of general region. Fancy bears? Maybe, did I lose something in the translation? Does it sound tough in Russian? I should look that up. See if I can pronounce it for you tomorrow. And finally, it's always important, and I think Hillary Clinton can learn a lesson from uh, the NZME... I'm not even sure what department you call it. It's the department that's in charge of taking our photos for media passes. Uh, we had to do this uh, the other day. And of course, I take a terrible photo because of my sticky out ear. I've got one ear that sticks out. See, now I've said it. Uh, it you can't take your eyes off it, can you? See? That's weird, isn't it? Anyway, um, so it's never going to be a good photo. But uh, unfortunately, the person responsible for taking those photos has lost the memory card with all the photos. So they took everybody's photo, made them come in, especially in some cases, go to a special room with a special backdrop, take the special photo, and now they've lost them all and probably will have to do them all again. I, I don't have a problem with the security measures in place to destroy the photos, just put them on the passes first. I don't know why I'm holding up that headline. Uh, I needed to, I need to hold up. I'm having trouble with the pieces of paper today. If only there was another way I could do this, a fancier way, but haven't figured that out yet. I am Glenn ZB. That is, that, thanks for having me up your periscope. I'll, I'll see you back here again tomorrow. I'm all flustered.